There is growing awareness around concussions. Protocols around them have gotten new attention recently with high profile concussions like Tua Tungavailoa that we've seen this NFL season. But as research continues to understand concussions better, one area that's lacking is with women. I do think a lot of the research that we see often is uh, funded or associated in some way with men's professional sports. And so what comes along with that is a disproportionate focus on men and, and concussions in, among men. Recent analysis from the British Journal of Sports Medicine confirms that most concussion research is focused on men. Researchers looked at the studies cited by the organizations that help guide concussion diagnosis and protocols, and they found the participants in those studies were 80% men. We definitely know that women are at risk of concussions, um, not just in sports, but also military, intimate partner violence, um, many, many contexts. And from preliminary research, it does seem like there may be some differences. I don't think we fully understand yet the extent to which some of those differences might be biological, some of it might be social or cultural, and some of it might be a mix. Kathleen Bajinski is one of the advisory board members for Pink Concussions, which is a nonprofit advocating for more research on concussions in girls and women. She says to see better representation in studies, we need more funding for studies done not just in professional sports. The International Conference on Concussion in Sport will be putting out a new statement this year that reflects the latest on concussion research. Some concussion experts are pushing for that statement to acknowledge a gender gap.